Hey folks, Eric Dole Jarhead here. Welcome back to the channel. In uh, my last video, I showed you this solar panel we set up out here on the sawmill. And we're gonna find out today if it worked because it's been a couple weeks or more, as you can see, a little snow, but the panel is actually clear. So that's kind of nice. So we're gonna see what the voltage is here on the battery and see if that did the job or not. Set that here so I don't set it in the snow. Get my hand out of the way. <laughs> there we go. What do we got? 12.6, 12.63. Yeah, that's looking good. It's real good. 12.63 without the panel on. So I'll bet you that's yeah. I would say that's a darn good sign. All right, so <laughs> we just laid the battery cover over. And one of the things I was thinking about is, did I do this? And I did. I put the nuts back on the studs, so they're right there. And just ran the wire. The connection's waterproof, but it's underneath there anyway. Ran it over to here, and we just zip-tied that straight to the rail. So, I mean, it worked. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a success. Got some cat prints here. That must be that must be the neighbor cat coming out here. Oh. Take a quick stroll around here, check on the outhouse. Exciting, right? Check on the outhouse. <laughs> but you know, we did a bunch of work to protect it a little bit and well, folks, so far, I would say that's working pretty good. This is dry. That's awesome. I'm thinking we did the trick. Even though it's not complete, it's dry. When we were coming up here, um, we saw some cougar tracks, some decent sized cougar tracks heading up the, up the driveway into our place. So it's out here somewhere. And while I'm at it, I'll show you. I got some new boots. They're uh, High C is how they pronounce that. H-I-S-E-A, High C. These are little short cabin boots. They came to me and asked me if I'd be interested in a pair of boots. And tell you the truth, this is my second pair of boots somebody was, has sent me. And, and, and it's nice that they do that. I appreciate that. You put in a lot of work as a YouTuber. I'm sure you understand. So it's kind of nice. I mean, I, don't, I didn't have to pay for them. They don't want me to, they said, well, you don't have to talk about them. You don't have to tell anybody what you think. Maybe if you like them, throw, them, throw a picture of them in your video or something and tell everybody that if they use Eric 15, they get 15% off. That's E-R-I-K, number one, number five. So Eric 15. Well, I'll tell you, I like them because they slip right on real easy. And that's what I wanted out here at the cabin. A short rubber boot that I could use. Now, this is not a commercial for these boots. I just got them. This is the second time I've worn them. I'm not going to tell you they're the next best thing to slice bread. I'm gonna tell you I like them so far. They seem pretty good and my regular hiking shoes get wet when I'm out here in this kind of snow. So it's kind of nice just to throw these on and not have to tie up a hiking boot or something. Anyway, there you have it. But I'm super happy with the, with the uh, solar panel on the sawmill. Awesome, love that. Um, battery's fully charged. So tomorrow I'll get to milling. We're gonna mill these logs up. And if, if you saw my last video, on this uh, fungus killed dug fir, it didn't turn out. And I'm looking at this log and I can see that ring on the outside, there's some punk there. So it may not turn out, just on this side I can see it. But I think this log is gonna be better because it's, the, it's at least the next one up the tree. So we're gonna hope that one's better. I am gonna mill it, I'll mill them both, they're here. These are fresh, they're not that tree, they were not fungus killed. I think those will be good for D logs. So we're good there and then we're gonna have to put the bucket on the tractor and put the plow blade on because even though there's not much snow, it was about 36, 37 degrees when we got up here, there's ice on the road itself. But my driveway coming up, I didn't have any problem in my dually, but Lance's cool Jeep, it, it did slip a little bit when he came around the corner on the bottom and without chains or studs or something, gets a little hairy. But when I was coming down right there, I'd slid and you can almost see the tire tracks from here. We'll walk over there. 
Got deer track, coyote track, cougar track, all kinds of stuff in here, folks. When Tim was walking up here, he was sliding, but you can actually see here, I slid there. I actually started my slide right up here and you can kind of see the tracks there. And it was just as I came around that corner, it kind of bobbled a little bit. And then right here, it actually slid right here on me. So you wouldn't think it's very slippery, but the problem here is that the ground freezes solid before it snows. So it's not loose dirt or gravel underneath there. It's just frozen solid ground. And you know, then you put an inch of snow on top and oh boy, fun times. So I think I will uh, get back to getting the cabin set up and warmed up and we might light off a bit of a fire tonight to burn some of our slash piles. And uh, I think you should find a video on living for today about this contraption that he's setting up right now. Lance got himself a new tent and he's gonna do a review on it. So say hi Lance. I can't even see him, it's too dark in there. There he is. <laughs> he's got his little diesel heater. Oh, it's running too. I'm not trying to get it to fire off so I know it'll Oh, it's, it's burning. I can hear it. This is a luxury over landing right here. War, warm tent. What's this tent rated for? Uh, six people. No, like temperature wise. Well, I, I don't know. Nobody, <laughs> nobody really knows. He's going to find out because it'll be like 20 degrees tonight. So <laughs> actually that's pretty warm. We're not really in the super cold part of the year yet. And uh, you know, it's, we're just getting there. This is usually, you know, if you saw last year, I did a video coming out of here. I'd come up in the truck and I had to drop the sawmill down at the bottom because the road was all snowy and icy. And I knew no way I'm gonna drag the sawmill up here. I had big plans to bring the sawmill up here and do a bunch of videos for you. And I got out here and I was like, yeah, that ain't happening. And when I got up here, the ridge cap on top of the roof up there was hanging down the side of the roof. It was kind of a fun video. And then I had to get out of here and I had to drive out of here in the truck without chains. And I was slipping and sliding all the way down. It was scary. And I was worried, I'm gonna lose my $100,000 truck, right? Well, that's what they are today, I think. It was cost me a lot less than that, but it's, you know, four years old. Now they're like a hundred grand. And I was just so worried about it. I'm not doing this again. And here I am this year but the reports on the weather were, it was gonna be pretty mild, almost no snow. And we wanted to come and get some slabs for Lance cause he helped me out. And I made some big slabs for him for a bar top that we're gonna build. So we're gonna, we're probably gonna to try to burn some slash and just enjoy the rest of the day and get the cabin warmed up. And look at that folks, who can blame me for wanting to be out here? Is that awesome or what? I just love it folks. I just can't tell you. I gotta put that plow blade on though. and put the bucket on the tractor, we'll do that tomorrow. But I do plan on milling up some logs tomorrow, so you'll get to see that. And uh, who knows, we'll, we'll, we'll bring as much as we can to you. And like I said, living for today, Lance is gonna talk about this tent if you're into overlanding or into just camping and like camping in cold weather, it's probably a good one to check out. So, but for now, it's time to get settled in the cabin and maybe get a little fire going over here to burn some of that slash. So I'm gonna let you go. Did y'all have a great day? The old jarhead out.